Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. And tonight we're getting close to trick or treat dash Halloween holiday. Right? We got costumes, we got monsters, right? Ghouls and goblin goblins. Now you may be invited to a Halloween themed party. Or you may uh, sit out front or go to someone else's house while the kids are trick-or-treating, pass out candy, and a lot of times the adults will get together and maybe they'll uh, have some beer or some wine while the kids are all trick-or-treating and they're handing out candy themselves. So, would it be cool to have a uh, Halloween-themed wine that everybody will enjoy? Well, of course it would. And so I searched far and wide and I found one. All right. It is by Some Young Punks Winery. It's a winery out of Clare Valley, which is in Australia. It's an Australian Riesling, 2013 Riesling, that I found on clearance for $8.99. So maybe normally it's $10, $11. Uh, so also shout out to all my followers um, from Australia. I have a few, and thank you for watching, and this is uh, one of your fine, fine ones. Uh, but I want to show you this label. It's got a picture of, first of all, it's called Monsters, Monsters Attack. And it's got Godzilla, um, flames, he's, he's, he's walking on cars, he's walking on buildings, people are running for their lives. It's kind of a cartoon type thing. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. And there's the... Uh, Right, some young punks winery, and the back, um, it's kind of got like a movie uh, clip right here. Right, bring this to the party, and you're a cool dude. Um, it is 10.5% uh, ABV by volume, and uh, just to tell you, usually Rieslings are sweet. Um, they go with spicy food. They always say Asian food, you know, spicy uh, Thai or Vietnamese. All spicy things They're, they tend to be a little on the sweet side and um, and the acid and everything and the, and the sugar really cuts uh, heat so if you're eating anything spicy this is it this is also usually a very good sipper all right very good just to sit around and sip so let's see if this one is Rieslings in general are beautiful grape from Germany this one like I say grown in uh, Australia uh, it pours a very light yellow. All right. The thing about Reese's, they have a compound in them that sometimes smells like rubber. It is not a fault if it's uh, understated. This one immediately smells like citrus, like a combination of lemon and orange and grapefruit. It just smells very citrusy. Um, and it always smells floral. Um, Rieslings always smell just like, um, oh man, like um, honeysuckle. And underneath that is a slight rubbery smell, which I know sounds off-putting, but when you combine it with everything, it just adds complexity because it's understated here. Um, and if I didn't say nothing, I don't know, maybe some of you wouldn't even smell it. I don't know. All right. Mm. Very acidic and very lemony. With an undertone of apricot, in my opinion. And man, I used to um, a good old place in California that had an apricot tree. And if you hit, hit it right at a certain time of the year when that was blooming, uh, when those apricots were out, oh, man, just to eat them right off the tree and just that pit comes right at them. And they're so, it's the only time I ever ate them. I never buy them at a grocery store, but they were so good. Um, and this has that taste, that sweet taste of some apricot with the lemon. It's kind of pleasing. And the undertone of the rubber that I can pick out. Um, it's understated. It's not considered a fault. I don't know if you, know, if you all like it or not, if you taste it, but... Um, and an aftertaste of the... Oh, it's very acidic. Very, uh, it's kind of like a lemonade, uh, fresh lemonade, to where it's sweet and sour at the same time. Um, with the apricot in there, some of you all might taste like a green or a red apple. Um, 
pineapple. I could see I could see those uh, descriptors on all uh, you know coming out on this. Um, one guy says lemon. Someone else might say I kind of taste pineapple. I can I can get all that, uh, but it's like kind of an acidic fruit, a uh, floral acidic fruit. Um, but what I like best about it is the uh, I really love the label. I think it fits so well for the, uh, the Halloween tr treat season. Um, for those of you that uh, that celebrate that uh, holiday, um, so like I say, it's from Australia, and it's uh, very unique. It's got a screw cap, which uh, so if you don't drink it all, right, you don't need to bring over a wine opener or anything like that. Pour it in some cups and have a wonderful um, trick or treat, right? Halloween dinner, Halloween party, Halloween sitting around out front while the kids trick or treat and the adults um, drink their candy, right? Uh huh? So. Do me a favor, everybody. Have a great Halloween. And if you don't go to Halloween, this also makes a good gift for people who like monsters, um, comics. Uh, it's different. It's cool. I think it'd be cool to bring somewhere. Uh, if no one's seen it before, they'll think it's unique, and it is. Uh, and the whole thing, you might want to Google about this, some young punk swinery. Uh, they kind of do things. They try and do things a little off the, you know, off the norm. They pride themselves on it. Um, you know. Anyway, so from Hillbilly Wine 101, some young punks, monsters, monsters attack. Cheers, everybody.